in this configuration, my little device here, with the addition of the um, generator, but it's not really a traditional generator. Um, once you charge the capacitor bank and you build up enough of a charge, you can unplug this and this keeps going and the generator that I was talking about will give us our equivalent of our 110 AC with current with actual wattage that we could use. This is a real 120 volt lamp that runs on 60 Hertz AC but obviously as you see we're not plugged in anymore. On one of my previous videos I was showing you how you know very low current to get more output by using capacitors it's um, you reduce the um, resistance so it's a lot easier to to maintain and pump the capacitors with the um, high frequency so I'm going to show you what I mean Set it up here. Sometimes I'm gonna give it a tap. It's getting a little there we go. My wires are getting a little tired here. But this is what we get, very bright light. I have to bring it down but And our voltage stays pretty stable too because it keeps itself going and we're not even plugged in here. You see that? No batteries, no external power. This is a generator which is giving you the current but it's coming from the safe charge which we're charging simultaneously because we're also outputting the generator's AC into this AC current limiting device which just gives us the pulse which triggers our switching our capacitor dump circuit in here which keeps these capacitors here charged so you're not actually seeing these are capacitors and they're not even the voltage isn't dropping you see what I mean capacitors Even as super as they may be, the voltage usually drops pretty quickly. Do no tricks. Just a little bit better over here. To view more light if I want. There's no use to do that. So here we are, I'm talking. Still no, no external power here. Capacitors aren't draining too fast. So I'm going to bring this, take the light off because I just want to show you how it runs and we're going to see what I mean. Very good power. Just a little bit because the generator just needs to keep triggering it. Very low. See, there we go. I see it on my meter. I want it to be stable. No power. 
Capacitor is holding a charge. Let's see, we're stable now. <clears throat> this is what I mean by um, the current limiting device it does a real good job. It does not allow us to keep using the voltage almost forever. So we've been talking for five minutes now. See, and it's actually going up 11.78 because we're charging. This is what's happening. We're charging. We're actually, the way the system is working right now, if you've seen my previous video, this is a current limiting X reactive device with a capacitor rectifier. We keep the pulse. We don't filter it out. It goes into this thing here, which is basically a cap dump circuit, which spits out around 30 or so volts into these capacitors every so many seconds, uh, times a second. And it's connected to regular DC, which powers this little toy motor on a little speed controller set to like 1% right now. Just enough to give it a little bit of a turn, just to give us a trigger to keep this going. And as long as the motor keeps spinning a little bit, we have tons. So this has been going on for six minutes now. So let's put the light back on. So obviously this light would take power normally, and it does, because we can't run this kind of energy direct, but once the capacitor is converted back to current, regular DC, this little, this is an AC output generator, the other one, by the way. This is how we're getting our 120 hertz AC. This gives us about 5 watts, specifically. So not bad, basically, 5 watts, and we're getting a lot of lumens here. And look at the power, 11.85. See what I mean? It's as long as we keep a trigger going and the circuit is configured as an open loop and it's mostly pulse DC like we're doing here we're good to go I just want to keep going I know I'm rambling here but it's just to show you how this this just goes on and on and on and the voltage will rise I mean, if you don't keep overloading it with external devices like lamps and everything, but that's just to show you, you know, just like a battery, you may have, you know, an hour use and then you got to hold back and charge a little bit, you know. As long as we don't use more than we can produce so we can set the trigger, you know, we want to be careful. Turn it off completely and there's nothing going on turn it back on and we're still doing good see 11.86 it's fighting the sweet spot and here we go again see this is usually where to start it because you, you can't get nothing you know you can't create something out of nothing so what this was our original input once it got going we here it is the two clips which bypass this and feed the AC directly coming out of basically the light socket going here and this is the X reactance box which stops the current pretty well and pulses this device here which then dumps a capacitor high voltage into these and it maintains its voltage the 
give you another view of this here because my lamp actually dims it in the front because this is very very bright because it's an actual very bright Great for emergency, by the way, you know, you get emergency lighting as well. Now, don't tell me that when you were in high school, you did the capacitor tests and you charged the capacitor. It took maybe a minute and then you had a light and the light turned on for maybe 10 seconds before it dimmed. I mean, it's nothing like you can't even compare it to this. We've been running now for like 11 minutes. Look at that. And it's running motors and generators. So, you know, still holding strong, 11.97 now. So, you know, the more you use it, the more it actually charges itself.